The following program contains adult language, poor taste in jokes, racial slurs, political slurs, slants, and all sorts of things that if you are sensitive and have a delicate constitution, you should probably go watch Teletubbies. You were warned. Hey kids, welcome back to Roto Talk. Hey kids, welcome back. Sorry, it's been a while. I have a new excuse. I've been sick and you might even hear it in my voice. It's been a rough week. <clears throat> but you might be thinking, why am I doing a V-Box overview, build overview? Because I, and you, if you look in the playlist that this is in, I have a bunch of boat overviews and I've been trying to do all of my boats. Just do an overview of the whole thing. Um, why are you doing an overview of a V-Box and we're building a V-Box? And it's like, well, partially because this is the fastest V-Box I have. I have two of them that are running right now and we have the third one getting built. The other one's my Lego boat, which I think we did do something on. But this one has never been seen, to my knowledge. Um, this is for my racist black buddies, and it's a joke, so don't take it personally. I call it the Crazy Cracker, and this is a stupid fast boat. Um, so fast, in fact, with no wind, full speed. If you're not super careful, it'll flip. I mean, it is just balls to the wall. When I originally built this, I built this for a friend of mine. That's why it says uh, Hinsman Racing on it. Him, him, Hinsman, Hinsman Racing. Um, I built him two boats, and he wanted to get out of it because he was moving away, and he basically gave me... I built this, but I built it for him, and he gave it to me. And uh, another one was a mono, whatever. Um, but anyway, great, great fast boat. And when we originally built this, it had a 26 mod in it. And I took that out and put it in something else. I can't even remember what. Now it's got a stock 30cc, and the boat just friggin' flies. If I can find some footage, I'll put it in this video. I can't remember if I have any or not, because it's kind of an unknown. I run this boat all the time, too. It's stupid fast. It's wonderful. But the reason I'm doing an overview video on it is because we're probably going to K-ball or cannibalize the motor out of this for our V-Box build. So I wanted to get it on video. I'm not going to scrap the boat or anything. I'm just going to take the engine out. I'm going to leave servos in, everything in, hang it from the ceiling, because it's a wonderfully running boat. I mean, things just can't say enough good things about this it was well you know sometimes you build a boat and they run good sometimes you build a boat and they run amazing and this one handles amazing runs amazing is so fast um it's not the prettiest boat i've ever built but it it works great so stock 30 cc zenoa we have a wrapped pipe uh fiberglass wrap you know to keep you from getting burnt whatever um pull start and a pulley start honor uh, we got a dual pickup rudder. I'll go over the ass end here in a minute. Um, again, stock Zenoa, 30cc. More than enough for any cracker. Okay, I'm telling you, don't waste your money. I've said that before, of putting a mod engine in a cracker. It'll flip. Okay. So, <clears throat> again, with the theme with this boat, it's got some more damage on it. It's got some scratches. I call it the crazy cracker. And I did all this decal work. You know, makes sense. Crazy cracker is just a play on words. kind of fun. My buddy's name on the edge. Hot exhaust is for fun. Zenoa 26 mod. No drivers, no nothing. This was just meant to be a speedboat. His favorite number was 21. That's why this is not a 42, which is odd because it's exactly half of what my favorite number is. Uh, a little bit more war damage here. And then we've got some TFL. Um, these are the ones I prefer for the trim tabs. I really, really like these. They look good. They work good. Um, old school turn fin. Very old school. Uh, works great for this boat. A little bit of a shallow draft, but it works okay. Dual pickup rudder. Got a prop. Stinger. This is from Zip Kits. Zip Kits. <sighs> Don't know where that came from. Not Zip Kits, but uh, the props from Zip Kits, obviously. We pop the hatch. There's our belt. Okay. I used to have little pins, like body pins, that came up. And that's what held down the hatch, but they popped out. So I just hatch tape it down. Fuel bag in the back. JJ radio box, which you guys have seen before. 20 kg servos for steering and throttle. Throttle direct drive cable. 
usual stuff that I do. Nothing fancy. Battery goes there. Tune pipe zip kits. Everything zip kits unless otherwise noted. Um, standard flotation in the front. Great boat. This boat just absolutely flies. And I wanted to get some um, documentation, if you will, on the channel of this boat because I will probably, I'm going to cable all this engine for our build, which is sitting over there that's now sealed. And we're going to put that engine in, a, in the goose killer over there and that's going to be it. Built this in 2021 and uh, just runs insane. This boat is so fast, so fun. Um, I am going to save it, yanking the engine, throwing her up on the ceiling, uh, maybe up there. That's my daughter's boat, one of my tugs, and we'll just hang it up there. Um, but I wanted you guys to see this great, great fun boat. The Lego boat is right there, uh, one of the other V boxes. But this one, we have the engine head output here, and we have the header output cooling here. Um, exhaust out. I mean, you know, it's just basic V box. There's nothing that fancy about it. But this boat, you know, you rub the lamp right, and it works. And this boat just freaking flies. And if the new one doesn't do as well, and take the engine back out, we'll use it for kindling and we'll run this boat. This boat's just phenomenal. It's really good. So anyway, just a quickie, because I'm going to do another video here tonight or tomorrow. We're going to yank this engine out, and we're going to do the hardware on our V-Box build. So until then, guys, if you have any questions on this, hopefully I've got some video and I put it up in this. If not, say la vie. Keep dry side up. Bye. Shout out, shout out, shout out.